What's up, people? Ross here, and I'm back with another NASCAR video. For with today, we are going to be going over the All Star Race in North Wilkesboro, Charlotte, Port Gateway, Sonoma, and Nashville. With this weekend being the Chicago Street Race, my prayers are with Jimmy Johnson's family for obviously everything that happened with with his in laws and his nephew, awful of what happened. But because of that, he won't, he he is withdrawn from the cup race at the Chicago street race this week, at the Chicago street course this weekend. So yeah, my thoughts and prayers are with, with the Johnson family. So the all-star race, um, the truck series, dominated by Kyle Larson. He got the win. Top 10 includes Ty Majeski, Matt Benedetto with his best finish of the year, Carson Hosevar, Bubba Wallace in the one truck, Corey Heim, Matt Crafton, Chase Purdy, Ross Chastain running for Nice, Grandin Finger running at the top 10. And then another notable William Byron in 11th running for KBM. And there are notables who didn't really finish well. Uh, Nick Sanchez, Zane Smith, Ben Rhodes, Dean Thompson, Johnny Sauter. Never really found out what happened to Johnny Sauter. You know, he, he basically was faded away from the truck series. Um, And the and the all-star race at North Wilkesboro, the first time cupped cars were on the, the North Wilkesboro racetrack since 1996. And it was just dominated by Kyle Larson. Dominated by Kyle Larson. And it wasn't even that good of a race. The, it's the reason why it was such a big deal, because, like I said, it's had abandoned since 1996, and they just, and they were able to bring it back. So Kyle Larson won the race. Bubba Wallace got second. Tyler Reddick, then Chase Briscoe, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, Daniel Suarez, Eric Jones, and ninth place, the first driver, um, the first driver to finish. The best driver to finish in the open, who ran in the open, Ty Gibbs. And then Joey Legon, 10th. And, th and then the rest of the field, Ross Chastain, 11th. Christopher Bell, 12th. Danny Hamlin, 13th. March Jr., 14th. The winner of the open, Josh Berry, in 15th. Filling in for Alex Bowman. Chris Buescher, 16th. Uh, he was also in the open. Austin Dillon, Austin Dillon 17th. Uh, Kevin Harvick, 18th. Um, he ran that beautiful 29 car. Brad Keselowski, 19th. William Byron, 20th. Austin Sindrick, 21st. Kyle Busch, 22nd. Noah Gregson, 23rd. He he got the fan vote. And Ricky Senna's 24th. So, again, it wasn't that great of a, of, a, of a race. So, then we move past to Charlotte. Um, in the truck race, Thorsport gets their first win of the year. Ben Rhodes getting the win. Corey Heim, second. Dean Thompson in third. His best career best, I believe. Carson Osovar, fourth. Grandin Finger, fifth. Christian Eck is sixth. Ty Majeski, seventh. Matt DiBenedetto, eighth. Nick Sanchez, ninth. Taylor Gray, tw tenth. And yeah. Um, um, for the Xfinity race, the Xfinity race was supposed to be on a Saturday afternoon. got postponed. It started on a Sunday morning, and it ended on Sunday night. You know, it started Monday morning, and it got post, and it finished Monday night. So yeah, very weird. Justin Allgaier got the win, though. John Hunter second. Cole Custer in third. Austin Hill in fourth. What you usually expect? Ryan Truex, Ryan Truex in fifth. I believe that's Ryan Truex. Um, or it's Ty Gibbs. I don't know. I kind of forgot. Parker Retzlaff in sixth. Thanks. Great run for him. Jeb Burton, seventh. Carson Hosevar in eighth. He's running a couple races in the 77 car in Xfinity. Brandon Jones, ninth. And Sammy Smith, tenth. Other notables. Justin Haley, twelfth. Kyle Busch was originally going to run the Xfinity race in the 10 car, but he wanted to be ready for the cup race. So he so Justin Haley was in the 10 car. And then Daniel Hembrick in 22nd. He's just not having a great season. He's comfortable in the playoffs. On points, he's pretty much 
a lock in the playoffs, Daniel Howard, but he's just hasn't had a great season. And then obviously Sam Mayer and Parker Clickerman were out early in the race. Then the cup race, Ryan Blaney breaks his winless streak, getting the win. And pretty dominant car. William Byron in second, March Jr. third, Bubba Wallace fourth, Tyler Reddick fifth, Kyle Busch sixth, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. seventh, Chris Buescher eighth, Austin Dillon ninth, And, uh, forgot who I put, ten. I think Kyle Larson. Sorry, the numbers I write down is, like, really weird. But, yeah, um, Charlotte was a good race. Not, but it wasn't as good as last year. Last year, Charlotte, Coke 600 was very good. And then our notables, Kyle, oh, so I put Kyle Larson out of the race. Then Austin Sindrick, Eric Jones... Todd Gillen, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin. Chase Elliott intentionally wrecked Denny Hamlin and got suspended for a race. Um, Noah Gregson got out early, and Jimmy Johnson also got out early. Jimmy Johnson in his three starts this year, I believe, has DNF'd in pretty much all of them. So you got to feel for him, man. Um, then we fast forward. Truck Series at Gateway. Uh, Granifinger gets... His second win of the year. Uh, Christian Eckes in second. Stuart Friesen, I think, with his best finish of the year. Carson Hosevar, Chase Purdy, Matt DiBenedetto, Ben Roth, Nick Sanchez, Coriam, and Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia has been sneaking in a ton of top tens. Though he's not that close to the to the playoffs, I think he, he could, if with a win, he, he can point us, he can get in with a win. He's in the playoffs. I, he could get that win pretty soon. The Xfinity Series at Portland. Xfinity Series ran at Portland. Cole Custer finally breaking through to get the win, holding off Justin Allgaier. And Sam Mayer, uh, Josh Berry, Austin Hill. Um, forgot who was in the 70. I believe Jordan Taylor. No, not Jordan Taylor. I don't know who was in the 17 car again. Bear with me. Um, Sheldon Creed, 7th. Um, Connor Mosack, 8th. Chandler Smith, ninth, And John Ernemichek, 10th. Parker Kligerman, who had a great race at Portland. Probably his best race of the year. Set, sent it for the lead on the final restart. And just messed up. Ends up 14th. And other notables who had early bad races. Jordan Taylor in the 10 car. Sammy Smith, Riley Herbst, Daniel Hemrick. Then the Cup Series at Gateway, my boy Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch gets his third win of the year. Pretty much dumb, one of the best cars of the race. Danny Hamlin second, Joey Logano third, then Kyle Larson, Martin Strick Jr., Ryan Blaney. The other best car finishes sixth, then Daniel Suarez, William Byron, Michael McDowell, and Kevin Harvick. Corey LaJoy, who was filling in for Chase Elliott, ends up 21st. Um... Then drivers who were out of the race late: Bubba Wallace, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse, Noah Gregson, Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, and the driver filling in for Corey LaJoy in the seven car, Carson Hosevar, who was in this Cup Series day. But you got to feel for him too. He was he was running solid in the top fifteen when he blew an engine. Sucks. Now we fast forward to two weeks ago to three weeks ago in Sonoma, the Xfinity Series. For the very first time, we're at Sonoma, and the top four all cup drivers, Eric Amarola, it's a very shocking, Eric Amarola giving RSS Racing their first ever win, then AJ Allmendinger, then Kyle Larson, and then Ty Gibbs. First not first Xfinity regular, Parker Clickerman in fifth, then Cole Custer, Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, Sammy Smith, and Sam Mayer. Two other cup drivers, Ross Chastain finishing 18th, Daniel Suarez finishing all the way back in 27th. I believe Ty Dillon was also in that race. Really didn't watch most of the race. The cup series at Sonoma was the Martin Truex Jr. show. Oh, he's gaining his confidence back in the Martin Truex Jr. we saw in 2019 and 2021 is back. Uh, Kyle Busch ends up second. Joey Logano third. Chris Busher in fourth. I believe that's his best finish of the year. Here and Busher is a solid lock in the playoffs. We'll get to that in a, in a minute. Chase Elliott fifth. He's really trying his best to get back in this playoff race 
after he missed a ton of races. AJ Allmendinger in sixth, Michael McDowell seventh, Kyle Larson eighth, Christopher Bell ninth, Ross Chastain in tenth. Drivers who had a very bad race. Ryan Blaney running comfortably in the top ten. He got wrecked twice with like six with like four to go, which sucks. Eric Jones, Tyler Reddick, Zane Smith, Todd Gillen, Denny Hamlin. Well, Oh, and Denny Allen won stage one in, at Sonoma and wrecked out of the race. So, yeah, you got to feel for him. And then to last week's weekend at Nashville, um, Carson Hosevar won the truck race. And he's holding off Zane Smith and Nick Sanchez, then Corey Heim, Bailey Curry in the in the 41, and Chase Purdy, Matt Benedetto, Tyler Ankrum, Ben Rhodes, and Jake Garcia again. Um, and then and Haley Deegan, DNF, I don't know what's going on with Haley Deegan. She's just not, she's been horrible this year. Other than a top 10 at Texas, sixth place at Texas, she's been horrendous. Then uh, Jack Wood, Ty Majeski, and Roger Carew also wrecking out. Uh, the Xfinity race at Nashville, A.J. Allmendinger coming back to run the Xfinity race. He, he won, holding off Riley Herps with, Tying his best career finish in the extended years in Sam Mayer, Austin Hill, Josh Berry, John Nemechek, um, Zane Smith in the 28. Making his first Xfinity start in God knows how long. Then Daniel Hemrick, Cole Custer, and Parker Russell rounding the top 10. Chandler Smith, who was a top two car the entire race, ends up 11th. And then DNFing Sam Sammy Smith, Carson Hosevar, Ty Gibbs. Yeah. In the Cup Series at National, Ross Chastain breaks through and gets a statement win, lock, locking himself into the playoffs. And he did it in a very clean way. Very proud of him. Marcus Jr. is second. Denny Hamlin third. Probably the three best cars of the race. Chase Elliott fourth. Kyle Larson fifth. William Byron sixth, who was up there in stage two, but... Never really got close to the that close to the lead. Christopher Bell seventh. Eric Jones eighth with his best finish, with his best finish of the of the year so far. Legacy Motor Club not really having a great season. They're switching to Toyota next year, so hopefully they can get back in the game next year. Sorry if it like lag a little bit. My iPhone storage went full, so I had to clear that up. Um yeah, Kyle Busch, ninth. He had a rough day all all long, all night long, but he was able to scrap up ninth and AJ Armendinger in tenth. Daniel Suarez, twelfth. He was supposed to be a top two car, but wrecked in qualifying. Never got back, never got to the front. And Kevin Harvick, who was running top five, with an with a flat tire, ends up twenty fourth. And then Tyler Reddick, who started up front on blue tire, got a penalty. Yeah, never got back. Uh, Ryan Blaney wrecked on a restart, one of the hardest hits of his career, he said. Now we look at the playoff standings. For the Truck Series, there's three races left, Mid-Ohio, Pocono, and Richmond. So the Truck Series doesn't race this weekend. Next weekend they do race at Mid-Ohio. So Corey Heim, Zane Smith, Christian Eckes, Grant M. Finger, Carson Hosevar, and Ben Rhodes are all locked in on wins. Ty Majeski plus 86. Matt DiBenedetto plus 14, Matt Crafton plus 10, and Nick Sanchez plus 6. So, Ty Majeski is pretty much a lock on points, but DiBenedetto, Crafton, Sanchez, they're on the hot seat. And Stuart Friesen out by 6, as well as Tanner Gray, Chase Purdy out by 35, and goes down from there. Then Jake Garcia, Tyler Ankrum, Haley Deegan, all the way down there. So, yeah. In the Xfinity Series, obviously they're racing at the Chicago Street Course. This weekend, um, they got 11 races before the playoffs, so they're good. Um, John Hunter Nemechek, Austin Hill, Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer, Chandler Smith, Jeb Burton, and Sammy Smith all locked in on wins. Again, it lagged. iPhone storage full again. Had to clear that up. So I'm going to have to go quick. Josh Berry, plus 99, pretty much a lock. Sam Mayer, plus 58. Sheldon Creep was 48. They're pretty good. Riley Harris was 45. Daniel Hamrick was 28. Parker Curry went out by 28. Brandon Jones out by 51. JRM car not making the playoffs. Wow. Brett Moffitt and then Ryan Sieg all the way down there. For the Cup Series, 
Willie, with nine races to go, William Byron, Martin Schick Jr., Kyle Busch, Ross Chastain, Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, and Ricky Sanchez are all locked in and wins. Kevin Harvick, plus 164. He's good. Brad Keselowski, plus 99. He's good. Chris Buescher, plus 98. He's good. Then Bubba Wallace, plus 70, I think. Daniel Suarez, plus 2. Alex Bowman, out by 2, so that's going to get tight. Ty Gibbs out by 10. AJ Allmendinger out by 24. Michael McDowell out by 27. And then see Chase, and then all the way down, Chase Elliott out by 64. He might have to win. And I think he can do it, but we'll see what happens. That's it for me. I'll see you guys in three weeks before this video lags out again. So, yeah. Hoping for a ton more videos very soon. See you guys next time.